I was actually sitting down at my house eating some breakfast, so it was, some, it was a pleasant surprise in the morning. Who was telling you? Or who told you? I found out on Twitter, actually. <laughs> your reaction to get such a prestigious honor your first year in college baseball? Yeah, it was it was a great honor. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the guys around me and helping me out through the way. I mean, the upperclassmen and the coaches just taught me so much about the game and just kind of how to stay calm throughout the whole thing. And you know, I, I wouldn't be wouldn't have gotten that award without them. Just coming into this season, what kind of expectations did you have for yourself and what kind of expectations did the coaches have for you? Yeah, I mean, I always have the highest expectations of myself to do good. I mean, uh, not really. I mean, the coaches, they had high expectations, but I was just trying to keep, you know, keep calm and not really expect anything out of here and then just see how, see how it goes. Obviously, it didn't take you long to adjust to the college thing that stepped back on the line right away, but... As the season progressed, where did you really have to adjust to be the college level? You know, it, it's always been the same game we're playing, but it's really the mental side that is the biggest adjustment here. I mean, uh, and with the, such good old, I mean, leaders uh, on this team, it was really easy uh, to adjust and kind of learn from what they do. Uh, but yeah, the mental side of the game is really the biggest adjustment. As playing for Coach Bowl, playing here, and the kids lived up to all the expectations you had, and you know, yeah, it's it's awesome. There's nothing else. I mean, better than this with the fans that we have and the team, and the coaches, everybody around. It's just just awesome. I mean, having the fans back this year was it was pretty sweet. Next, you guys talked all year about the senior leadership and how that's affected the team. What's what's been their message since you've gotten the draw? Has there been? Uh, I mean, we haven't talked much, but right now it's just Northeastern. I mean, we'll take. We'll, you know, take one one game at a time right now. Level of excitement for you going into your first NCAA tournament? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm trying to hold it, trying to hold it in right now. But yeah, it's it's awesome. I mean, I've dreamed of playing it as a kid, and to play it with these guys, it'll it'll be something awesome. I know you just on it a little bit, but what do you feel like from game one until now? You've gotten better at it. Um, I'd say just staying. Staying more mentally composed and learn kind of just what these guys do. It, uh, the mental game is really what's changed. Coach Bull kind of harps on your improvement on the defense side of at third base. Would you kind of agree that you've grown into that, into that whole season? Yeah, I think, you know, just as, a, as the season went on, it was just getting more comfortable there. Uh, I think the biggest thing in fielding is just kind of getting reps. And as the season went on, got more reps and just helped me out. With Spencer getting player of the year, I mean, how awesome has it been to watch him, you know, the next year on the infield and then finishing out games? How, how much have you learned from him and how awesome was it to watch him this year? Oh, he's, he's an awesome dude. He's one of a kind. Uh, yeah, being able to learn from him, uh, I learned a, learned a lot from him. He's he's a great, great leader. Uh, he'll pull you aside if he needs to tell you something, talk to you mentally and physically too. If I mean, if something's wrong with your swing or maybe you're feeling a little bad, he's going to help you out. Okay, I'll uh